Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial. I know most of us DJs want to use stems on our sets, but we're using very old controllers like the one I'm using, which is DDJ SX2. It was manufactured 10 years ago and there were no stems, so meaning there is no button assigned for stems. For those who don't know stems, stems are not plants. Stems are where you separate a song into instrumental and a cappella. Let me show you an example. So here you can see I've loaded a song, Kudade. So I want to separate the stems. So because my control is not mapped for that, I need to use the keyboard. So up here, you have the, you have where you change into a cappella and, and uh, what, an instrumental. Let me play the song and you can. So as you can hear, I'm able to separate the stems, but when you're playing live, you don't want to keep clicking on your laptop. You want to click the buttons at your control to make it easier. So what you do, you need to map the functions on your on your controller. It is very easy. So since I don't use the roller, I never use this, this part. I want to assign my stems to this part, so I click on roll. So I'm going to use this button and this one to assign my stems. So I'm going to use one for a cappella and the other one for instrumental. It's very easy. So what you do first, you come to your Serato Pro. Something else you need to know. You need to have a recent version of Serato. Something else, the version you're using of Serato must be the latest one, which supports stems. So let me show the version I'm using. So I'm using version 3.11 in a MacBook Pro 2019. So to do the mapping, just come here to MIDI. Now you can see MIDI up here, click on MIDI. Then come here and click allow Serato hardware remapping, click on it. Then come back. Up here you see there is MIDI. So click on MIDI there. As you can see, it has brought some, some other functions that you can select. So up here, it's where you have your instrumental and a cappella. So the first one is for a cappella. So it says primary click to assign MIDI. So you click on it. Then it says what? Press or move the MIDI control you want you wish to assign. So back on your controller. So you said you are going to assign this button. So you click on it. And like that, you have assigned it. So you go back again. You want to assign... You want to assign uh, the next one for instrumental. So again, it says primary click to assign. So you click on the, the part of instrumental. Then on your controller, you click the button you want, this one. So like that, you've already mapped it. So let's, let's test it. So let's remove the MIDI. So when I click, when I click on the, let me remove it. So when I click on the, or the buttons it should change the waves as you can see the waves are full form they have both the instrumental bass whatever all of them they are there so let's change it so as you can see on the on the on the video the full spectrum of the of the song when i click the roll it should change as you can see now we have the the instrumental let's play and listen so guys as you can see we have managed to map our controller to support stems even if you're using a node controller so guys if you have learned something new make sure you follow subscribe and like the video see you on the next one